wherever you're watching from or whatever time you may be watching this in case you're watching it, the pre-recorded. Okay. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Do you know what today is? Today is a new moon and it is a new moon in Aries as it's the new sun in Aries. So we've got the moon and the sun coinciding in the same planet. Um, this is lucky, lucky, lucky day. So all of you who want to manifest something wonderful, who need to bring something into your life, today is your day. And I want you to really get out there because it happened Eastern Standard Time about 1.23. Um, so I really want you to get out there uh, and uh, just look at the sky and tell the universe what you need what you want, what's got to happen for you, and make it happen, okay? Now, we always have the, the little poem that I was taught by my friend Karen Angel, and that is open up your purse, open up your wallet, open up your hands, and it's new moon, new moon, as you come up, fill my cup, fill my cup. Write yourself an abundance check. Write down anything that you know you really need remember we've talked about this before when manifesting it's not about saying um i want money to pay this i want money to pay that it is about telling the universe what you need okay what do you need um and it will come to you and brandy you're in ocean city we are about a half an hour away from each other right now. I am broadcasting from Lewis, Delaware today. How are you, Brandy? Brandy, are you there? Okay. Well, we're waiting to make sure that Brandy is on. And uh, yeah, she's in Ocean City, Maryland. She is literally 20 to 30 minutes away from me right now. Um, and we'll find out what uh, how we can be of service to Brandy today. But in the meantime, I will continue to tell you manifest, manifest, manifest. Okay. Hi, Brandy. Hi. How are you? Do you know you're only about a half an hour from me? I'm in Lewis right now. Yes. Let's go meet at the beach later. That would be nice. Okay. So, Brandy, did you um, have a question for me? Or would you like me to connect with, a try to connect with a loved one on the other side today? How can I help you? I didn't know if you had any information on... Um, or any kind of anything coming through on my relationship that I'm currently in. Okay. Let me take a second. And um, I need a pen and I didn't bring one in with me. I stole the pen earlier. I like to do a little automatic writing when I do this sometimes. Okay. Um, give me the name of your significant other, please. Jason. Nathan, okay, thank you. No, Jason. Oh, Jason. Was a Jeff. Good. Yeah, fix the wrong guy. <laughs> okay, so this is fairly new, is it not? Um, about two. It's been about two and a half years. But it's really gotten serious this past year. Okay. All right. So then seriously, serious, it's it's fairly new. Um, to be honest with you, it really made me feel, spirit really made me feel like this relationship is actually <clears throat> newer than that. So what I want to say is the way that that makes me feel is that the seriousness of this has only been amplified for the past few months. Would you understand that? Yes. Okay. And um, when I f say that, it makes me feel that uh, more on his side than your side. Uh, would you understand uh -huh. kind of paying, paying a little more attention and being a little more serious in the last couple of months? Yes, because we um, actually had some issues going on. And then I decided, look, we're going to start fresh. 
new. Everything's in the past, but just going to start new. So that's probably, okay. yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> and I feel like giving him that restart um, and giving yourself that restart makes it feel like a new relationship. Um, and I really believe, Brandy, that if you, um, it's, I don't know if you've already done this or not, but you need to be clear in what you want from this relationship. Okay. Have you done this yet? Um, I told him what I want out of the relationship. Yes. Um, I have explained to him what, you know, I don't want to like sit here and keep like going in circles. I want to go somewhere. I want to do something. I want us to go further. So he okay. does know that. Right. But I want you to be, when the time is right to have the discussion be, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean that I want to move in together? Does that mean that I want a ring on it? You know, is engaged enough? Do you want to get married? Are you looking for children? You know, combining families. I feel like you really need to, Brandy, men are a little dumb sometimes. Either that mm -hmm. or they play. Okay. So sometimes we need to literally spell it out for them. You know, right. um, or else they're listening to songs like Bruno Mars. I should have brought you more flowers. I should have danced yeah. with you. No, you need to tell him exactly what you need. And Brandy, you need to honor that because if he's not willing to give you what you need and vice versa, if he tells you what right. he needs and it's, and this is not, you know, something you're willing to do, to give into or to do or compromise mm -hmm. or whatever, because relationship right. is about compromise, but it's also about honoring the true self of the other person. Um, I do feel like he is definitely being serious and taking you serious now. So now is a good time to have those discussions with him. Yeah, about he has been straying off the seeing path before I said this. So he knows that I you know, that I'm serious about this. Good. And you should be because you don't want to, this is like your third serious relationship. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. And it's, and it's like, all right, we're done pussyfooting around. Don't waste any more of your time. Honor yourself. I really feel like um, this can be a, a really good long-term relationship. I, I stay away from, uh, telling people what to do with their relationships because this has to be your journey. Okay. Yes. Um, and you have to make those decisions. I don't want anybody saying, look, the psychic said we should get married. <laughs> that needs to be between, you know, and, and that doesn't bode well either when someone just does it that way. Um, you know, they have to, uh, he has to feel it. So the beginning is out having a serious con, you know, um, consultation with each other and conversation mm -hmm. and putting it all out there and then seeing, you know, lay your cards out on the table and see what flies, see what hand you're okay. dealt. I really do feel like um, your last conversation, serious conversation that you had with him really did make a difference to him um, that he is listening. So you're in a good place. And Today, I don't know what you guys are doing tonight, but you've got the the next couple of days, the full moon in Aries, the sun in Aries. This is a lucky, or new moon. This is a lucky, lucky time to manifest what you need. And let, when I say that, let me just say that if this is what is supposed to happen, it will. Okay. Okay. And sometimes we get what we need, not what we want. And then we find out later that it's, it, it was for our better good. But saying that I don't want to scare you and think he's going to scare away. Um, I don't feel that he is. Okay. Okay. Do you have any Thank other questions? So we got another I minute. I, no, okay. I think I'm good. Thank you so much. Awesome. Have a wonderful week and thanks for calling in, Brandy. 
All right, you also. All righty. Um, yes, yeah, so yes, if you are looking to uh, get that relationship going, then now's the time. Hey, I've only got a couple of seats left for my um, mentorship weekend that's going to be in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. You can go to my website, www.tammypetricelli.com if you want more information and get one of those uh, left, one of those last four seats um, during March so you can get the March early bird uh, special. All right. Hey, thank you so much. I will see you this time, this place next week, same time, and share this with someone if you think that they would enjoy it. Bye.